Hey guys, welcome back to another video with Tony's Phone Collection. Today we're going to be going over some phones that I got from friends and I bought online that I don't have videos of because um, my iPhone lost them when I had my iPhone. So we'll go and take a look at these that I got that I've unboxed and everything but like I said, no videos of. Um, let's start off with this is a Motorola Droid. I paid, let me see if I can cover it up. I paid 20 bucks for it. Um, it was supposed to be an Alto one. They sent me one and it had a broken HDMI port. So I sent it back and they sent me this one as a replacement. Um, I don't remember if I ever charged it or not. I don't think I did, so. So then I got the charger from the other video. The other one I have, which I guess I'll probably do a drop test on. It has this weird issue, like I think, what do I want to do with it? But it's got the little black dots on the screen again, like LCD damage. And I don't remember it ever having it. So I ended up picking up this one. I wanted to make a video on all the accessories, but I couldn't because the other one that I bought had the mess of HDMI port, so I had to wait for this one to come in to do it. So there'll be a video on that of all those uh, accessories that I did an unboxing of a while ago. Looks like it might have a charging port issue. I don't know. But I said I haven't tested it. I will see what I can do with it. And maybe get it to hold the charge so I can actually use it. Actually, I think this one is. I think this one's mine actually. Well, let me go check my room. Well, guys, that makes a lot of sense. So, what happened was I was messing with the phone I have. And the one I have, you can barely see the uh, web screen for this thing. The LCD backlight's bad. That's what it was. And you kind of see. Where it shows a charging indicator. Right there. I turn it off, turn it on. So that's the problem with this one, is the uh, <clears throat> the backlight went out. So I bought this one, this is the replacement one. As you see, it doesn't have the Verizon logo. <clears throat> and uh, they marked Altel, but it, like I said, it's an Altel phone, or a Verizon phone, not an Altel. Oh, and also the uh, camera lens cover doesn't open either. Oh, great. That's going to leave all the sticky stuff. I'll just leave it on there. Doesn't detect a battery. Oh, that's great. Let's take a look. Said this was supposed to be fully working, but uh, we'll just take the battery out of this one. As you can tell, that other one is not a uh, genuine Motorola battery. Here's the OEM Motorola, and here's the uh, generic one. This one actually <clears throat> looks to be in a little bit rougher shape. Um, I think compared to mine. I don't know, about the same. But I guess I'll be doing, because <clears throat> I did a drop test on one a long time ago, I think, um, on a Droid X as well. So I'll be doing another drop test with this one. As a uh, screen's not worth much, it's got some scratches as you can see. Some really big scratches on that one. So, I'll probably end up drop testing it. Um, but yeah, there's that. This is a replacement phone. Hopefully I can get it working and I can make a video on it pretty soon. That was zero to five percent real quick. Um, and we can test it out, drop test this one. And then let's go to the next one while that one boots up in the corner. I got this Kyocera KX5. On Altel KX5 5X0 and it was having problems with the buttons not working up here so I took it apart completely cleaned it and uh, that seemed to have fixed it for the most part see it's a slider phone I did it was really loose when I got it the sliding piece was so what I did was I took the uh, the slider rail and I bent the little tabs that it slides on 
And so it's a lot stiffer now. It actually clicks into place. So there's this one, fully working. I have uh, one similar to this one, the uh, Cricut version. That's a prototype. So I got two of them now. So there's another one. Here's this one actually on. So it has an all tell background, but it's got a Verizon back. Maybe it's just the back's been replaced. Ooh, this is cool. I love my all tell phones. I did buy um, a couple more phones as well that'd be coming. So we're just waiting for them to come in. So it looks like this is an all tell phone. What it looks like. Let's see if we can go to the wallpapers. So yeah, it looks to be an all tell device because it's not like it's a uh, an added option. Uh, yeah, network network says all tell. So it looks like the back cover has been replaced on this. So sweet, got an all tell here, another all tell there. Two phones I didn't have before. Um, let's drop the keys. So over there. I also picked up this one on eBay. Uh, I think it was twenty dollars, something like that. Originally it was 40 bucks. Uh, it is the LG PM, or I think it's PM on Sprint, but it's LX225. This is where the Ready Mobile PCS, which is a brand of Sprint, if I remember right. I'm pretty sure it is anyways. There's a zip code I guess it came from, 53523. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a Sprint phone. I think Ready Mobile is. Um, I haven't opened it. It's completely sealed. I don't know if I will open it or not. I might just leave it sealed as I already have a Sprint one, the red one. That's exactly the same thing. So probably not going to open it, leave it sealed. But there's this one. I also got a Palm Free on Sprint. It's covered in fingerprints. Here it is. Uh, I think it has a bad battery because I can't get it to fully work. I can just show the battery charging indicator and then turn off. Let's see if we can charge it now. So like I said, it'll boot up to this and then it'll fully turn off. We'll let that one sit, but uh, it's in pretty good shape. Got it from one of our friends um, locally. He gave it to me, so. And there's also this LG track phone device. LG L55C. I think it has the same issues. I couldn't get it to fully turn on, if I remember right. But uh, it's got a resistive touchscreen. A uh, pretty decent shape besides a few marks here and there. Um, like I said, maybe I'll find a battery for it and I can get these to work. This one looks like it actually might be charging. Might have been my charger. But there's that one. <coughs> and let me pause the video and grab the other two I think that are over there. It actually looks like there's just one more. And it's covered in dust because it's been a while. Okay, let's wipe it down. Here it is. It's HP has no warranty and I think it was a prototype if I remember right um, there's a number stitched on the back here and up front they're the same number uh, it's got a stylus so it's a resistive touchscreen I think it is yeah uh, it doesn't have a battery yeah it is a prototype uh, not for sale property of HP so there's all that good stuff there uh, but I don't have a battery for it, so I'll have to get a battery so I can fully test it. Um, I think plugging in the charger just shows the battery indicator, so it seems to work. Just need to get a battery for it. But that pretty much all of my recent phones that I've gotten. I need to do an update on all of them <clears throat> to what I've been able to test and what I haven't been able to test. So I can make a video on those. Um, and then, like I said, I got a drop test of the Droid X here. We'll do something uh, entertaining with that as well. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and stay tuned for the next one.